The, the other thing that happened this weekend that everyone knew I was going to at some point respond to was the NFL Top 100 list, which is just a total and complete debacle. So let's discuss it. Yeah, so the NFL Top 100 came out. Um, Patrick Mahomes is in the top 10, but he uh, obviously wasn't number one. That was Tariq Hill. Yeah. I think they had Travis Kelsey. Uh, yeah, Patrick Mahomes at four. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Did, should should mm -hmm. Mahomes take this personally and use it as bulletin board material or? Uh... Well, yeah, I mean it is. I mean it's not. This isn't like Michael Jordan having to create fake stuff to be motivated about. This is a Patrick Mahomes, and people are like, "Oh, it was done before the playoffs started." I don't care. At it, it doesn't matter. So you mean it was done while he was the defending MVP and the defending Super Bowl MVP and the defending champion? That's when the voting was done? And that's when folks said that Lamar Jackson is a better quarterback. Tyree Kill, who used to be on the Chiefs, the Chiefs traded him away, and when the voting was done, had not lost a playoff game since he was gone. And since the voting was done, won, more for, won four more playoff games. And Christian McCaffrey are all better than him. You have a funny look on your face here, Demonze. Do you, do, like, do you think there is any point in last year's football calendar where if you were, if you were asked who's the best player in the NFL, you wouldn't have said Patrick Mahomes? I think that uh, you've instilled a little bias on me, but it, it is like a little, it, it, it's a snub. Like either way you look at it, they, they snub. snubbed him all the way at four still, like not even number two or anything like that, but number four is pretty crazy. And behind another quarterback. <laughs> there, yeah. but, 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 listen, I understand that Lamar had a wonderful year until, of course, he played Patrick in the playoffs and for some reason short-circuited a bit. Uh, I, I get that, but... And I understand this voting was done before that, but at no point should someone have been able to say at no point in the last two years, has it been a credible opinion that anyone other than that guy is the best player in the league? And I said this on the show and, uh, who, who was it? Mangini and Wilds disagreed, Brew agreed, but if somehow the Chiefs were offered Lamar, Tyreek, and Christian McCaffrey for Patrick Mahomes, they say no. And Wilds and Mangini were like, I'd be one hell of a team. I'm like, well, how much better of a team can you be than the two-time defending Super Bowl champion? Like, honest to God. And so I, it, the, the part of it that's really galling is not being the number one quarterback so like you can ask the follow-up and i'll elaborate on that uh and we'll get to it yeah more. so if if mahomes is number one how would you feel about Tariq hill being number two i'd be okay with that i like if they simply like i i'd be okay with that i don't know that I think, and this is not because Tyreek told me to go cry on set. Like I like <laughs> Tyreek. Um, I don't mind that the uh, that you know he was feeling himself on this. It, 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 that's fine. Uh, oh, that's a good Photoshop. I do like that <laughs> of me crying. Tyreek consoling me. Um, here's the thing. I am not. I don't think saying Tyreek is the best non-quarterback in football is a bad opinion. I don't know that I agree with it. I think that if I had to choose one receiver, I think I'm picking Justin Jefferson. It's very close. And like I said, it's not a, it's not like a disqualifying opinion like Lamar over Mahomes is, but I think Justin Jefferson has played 60 career football games and has 5,900 career yards. Justin Jefferson has never played with a great quarterback and played half of last year with a bad quarterback. He's played with, you know, he has had to a level quarterbacking, I think, in Kirk Cousins most of his career. Tyreek obviously had Tua, but then previous to that had Mahomes, 
for four years. And previous to that, I had Alex Smith, who was fine. Uh, Alex Smith kind of to a level, uh, Kirk Cousins level. And so I, I don't, I, I thought Justin Jefferson was way too far down the list. I don't think there's a big gap between him and Tyreek. And this is where folks can call me a homer, but I don't really care. If the question is non quarterbacks, you can have any one player for a playoff run. Who are you taking? My answer to that question is Travis Kelsey. Flatly. Try like that is, I think he is in the biggest spots, the most unguardable, dynamic player in the league. And I think last year was evidence of it when last year he was injured at the beginning of the year, double teamed more than he'd ever been throughout his entire career, seemed a step or two slower, hampered, didn't have the thousand yards for the first time in almost a decade, and then in the postseason did the following. Seven catches, I think all in the first half against Miami in a blowout, against Buffalo, two touchdowns, against Baltimore with Kyle Hamilton guarding him potentially the best safety in the league, 11 catches on 11 targets. And then in the Super Bowl, nine catches on 10 targets, including final drive of regulation, third down, have to get in field goal range, ran the fastest he had run in any game all year to make it a chip shot field goal. In those playoffs, he had... 32 catches on 36 targets. And if you remove the game where it was negative 30, he had 25 catches on 27 targets for three touchdowns. And so I still would rather have Travis in a big spot than anybody else. As far as over the course of a season, you want to say Tyreek, that's fine. I think I'd probably go Justin Jefferson, but it's just a, it, it, the Mahomes piece of it is just so disqualifying for everybody um, that I just, I can't, it's I, weird. I, I it's can't weird. take it seriously. I mean, hey, he, let me say one other thing before we do the last fo- follow-up. It was so obvious to everyone Mahomes was going to be number one that if you remember, they asked Jamar Chase about number one and he said, I refuse to say that guy's name. Spoiler alert, folks. That's not because he's not saying Tyreek Hill's name. He didn't say, I won't say his name, number one, Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow. It's because he thought it was so obvious that Patrick Mahomes was going to be number one. What are you laughing yeah. about? No, it is It is a weird It's a weird thing. Uh, but the producer is saying maybe there's a little receiver beef between the two. But, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, no, I mean, no, it was good. No, because he didn't say himself. He said, Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow. It was clear. Yeah. He was talking Patrick Mahomes. It was also weird. Right, he was saying the players mm-hmm. d- take place with the voting. Um, and that's a player mm-hmm. right there saying that it's Patrick. Um, Why? Well, it doesn't mean he voted him. Number one, he probably right. voted Burrow. Number one. He just thought it was going to be Patrick. Um, all right. So, so it, the, take ahead. a look at the new Tyreek King of the Hill, the King of the Tyreek Hill. Sorry. <laughs> oh, let me, oh, it's, oh, it's just a bunch of Mahomes is on King of the Hill. The, no, that's pretty good. All right, I like it. All right, let's move on. All right, so last year, uh, Puka Nakua and Jordan Addison and your guy Rasheed Rice all became household names as rookies. Uh, this year, we got Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, and Roma Dunze. They're all reportedly off to hot starts at camp. Uh, pick one of these receivers to stand out the most this year. Well, listen, I think Marvin Harrison's going to be the best. And okay. while I think Adunze has the best quarterback in Caleb, I think Adunze with DJ Moore there and Keenan Allen there, I don't think Adunze is going to get the volume of targets that Neighbors or Harrison will. Neighbors, to me, is just disqualified by the fact he's either going to have Daniel Jones or Drew Locke <laughs> firing passes out of bounds. And so, to me, it's very, very obvious that it's Marvin Harrison Jr. I thought he was the best college receiver we had had 
arguably since Larry Fitzgerald. That might be a step strong, but it really felt like that watching him. Thoroughly dominant multiple years. He's with a real quarterback in Kyler. Again, I have my skepticism on Kyler as a leader and some other things, but Kyler, when healthy, is certainly better than Daniel Jones is, and he's not going to have to share targets the way Roma Dunze is. So Marvin Harrison Jr., to me, is far and away going to have the best numbers of any of those three rookie receivers. Now, they didn't include Xavier Worthy, who it sure seems like Mahomes is really prioritizing getting in the flow of things with the Chiefs offense. Now, I worry about Xavier Worthy's build, and I'm worried about how thin and skinny he is, but the one thing that can make you feel a little bit better about that is Andy did have Deshaun Jackson, who's very, very similar build, and you know Andy had Deshaun Jackson cooking because of that raw speed. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.